If you're using a device running One UI, Samsung's Good Lock application is an automatic must have in case you didn't already know. As far as tweaks, customization, and making your device look and operate the way you want it to are concerned, there is no shortage of what you can do with this. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new features that were brought to Good Lock to kick off 2022. If you want more Good Lock coverage, make sure you drop a like and a comment letting us know. All right, so starting things off with One Hand Operation Plus, you can now add a couple new functions to the swipe gestures. You can add the Move Screen function, which allows you to zero in on whatever you want, basically. It's a very interesting addition. And you can now trigger keyboard shortcuts. Think of this as customizable hotkeys you can change on a per app basis. Navigating apps like web browsers become a little easier with this, especially with one handed use. Next up is Theme Park. There's a new Explore More Wallpapers feature, which is nice. There's lots of stuff to discover in here. And one of the best things you can do with Theme Park is using third-party icon packs you find on the Play Store with the stock One UI launcher. But now you can change the icons individually. So if you want the phone app icon to be from Moxie and the calendar application to be from CandyCons at the same time, you can do that and it's easy to make happen. You can kind of make your own icon pack in that way. Speaking of the launcher, with Home Up, you can now swap the normal horizontal page centric app drawer with a vertically scrolling list, and you can adjust the amount of columns you want. We would like to see some more functionality like being able to swipe the app drawer back down and away, and the ability to hide that priority app portion up top. All right, so next is Nice Shot. With this module, you can tweak how screen capturing is handled. You can add a delete button to the bar that pops up whenever you take a screenshot, that's very handy. You can disable that crop snap to function. You can allow or prevent screenshots from being automatically added to the clipboard. You can adjust how selfie videos look. And best of all, you can enable the function that turns on do not disturb while you're doing a screen recording. That is also very useful. In the Sound Assistant module, you'll find a new voice changer feature. You've got nine different voice filters to choose from, and whenever you're using the microphone, a notification will pop up, allowing you to swap it between different voices. It's pretty silly, but it is fun to mess around with. In the Wonderland module, you can now set a portrait shot that you've taken as your wallpaper with a 3D parallax effect. And, well, in my experience at least, it could use some work, but it is a nice idea for sure. With the clock face module, you can now sync the clock style on your lock screen and always on display with the clock face on your Galaxy Watch. Sadly enough, we haven't been able to get this to work just yet, both myself and Zachary who put together our written article, and we'll be sure to keep you updated on this if things change. Second to last, we're looking at Keys Cafe. With this, you can now create your very own sticker packs. So if you like using stickers, you can make your own using photos from your gallery to be used with the Samsung keyboard and in whatever app you like using stickers in. The last one is for the Z Flip 3. Unfortunately, I do not have one on hand, but you can now use the multi-star module to add applications to the new cover screen widget, and you can add any application you've got installed on your phone, which is cool. There's still work to be done here, but this is definitely a nice feature to have on the Z Flip 3. Goodlock is loaded with all kinds of neat yet powerful customization, and these new additions here barely scratch the surface. Again, if you'd like more Goodlock videos, make sure to drop a like and a comment letting us know. It's been Zach, I'll talk to you later, and thanks for watching.